Welcome to R1Soft, continuous data protection for Windows and Linux servers. We'll be performing a BMR on a Windows box using CDP 3.0 Enterprise Edition. We'll perform the BMR using a Windows 2008 R2 backup. Disk 0 consists of two partitions, the C partition and the system restored partition. We'll be restoring it to a box with nothing on it. We currently support restoring to similar type hardware. Once you have the new hardware in place, you can download the live CD boot image and boot up the server. Once the server is booted up, we can check the IP address. This is the IP address that we will be pushing down the image to. We'll go ahead and switch from the server we're restoring to, to the CDP server console. We'll go ahead and click on the recovery points. Under the recovery points, we'll click on the agent, select the Windows 2008 R2 server, and select the uh, disk safe that we want to browse the recovery point for. Now we'll have all the recovery points listed underneath there, We can go and select from any of those recovery points, browse the recovery point, perform a bare memory store, browse the databases if you have MySQL, merge the recovery points, or lock a recovery points. In this case, we're going to perform a bare memory store, so we'll click on that. In this screen, we'll select which partition we'd like to restore. We're going to restore the C partition, which is about 24 gigs in size, and also the system restored partition, which is only about 100 megs in size. We have the option of restoring to the original host, also an alternate agent if we wanted to, as well as uh, specifying IP address, which is what we're going to use now since we're using the live CD to boot up the host server that we're looking to restore to. Since the host we're restoring to does not have any partition tables, we're going to select the partition tables to restore. So we'll check off the partition table we need to recover. In this case, uh, the 24 gig partition table. We'll go ahead and map the partition tables to the disks available on the target host. We'll have to restore those partition tables to those disks. And once restored, we'll need to map the file systems to those uh, devices. We got the C partition, which is about 24 gigs in size, and also the system reserve partition, which is the, the E drive. If you want the server to be rebooted after the restore, check off that option. So it'll give you a summary of what it's going to restore. Click on the restore, and that will then kick off the bare metal restore. To see the progression of the bare metal restore, click on the task history, and then click on the specific task. In this case, you can then see the summary, the device has been restored, the progress, runtime, delta, size, and speed. And if you go back to the summary, you'll see the uh, runtime as well as the average throughput and the time remaining. Once the restore completes, you can identify if all the devices were restored successfully. You'll see the restore time, the device has been restored, the size and the speed of the restore, if there are any problems, and uh, the log showing any informational warning or error messages during the restore. And that's how easy it is to perform a bare metal restore using CDP 3.0 Enterprise Edition.
Thank you for taking the time to look at R1 Soft and the CDP Server software. If you'd like to find out more about the CDP Server software, please visit www.r1soft.com or contact your sales rep at sales at r1soft.com.